Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper. I want to show you guys what a neighbor uh, just gave me. He uh, tried to buy a pump for this thing and he said it was going to be so expensive that uh, he's just going to buy a new pressure washer. He told me it had a good motor on it and asked me if I wanted it. He said it's been sitting up for a while. I said, yeah, I'll take it. You know, he knows I like to tinker with stuff. So, uh, how, how do I get this thing going here? Well, uh, I'm going to go back to what my dad taught me and my father has taught me so much and thanks dad um, I remember a neighbor when I was uh, I think I was about 10 years old gave gave us an old push mower gave me a push mower and I asked my dad if he could fix it and he said well you know let's take a look at it so first thing he did is he put his finger down in the gas thing here and he he uh, smelled it and he he asked me he goes what does that smell like to you and I said well I don't know and he said it smelled like turpentine or you know old gas or something and he uh, took the tank off dumped it out which I dumped mine out and I'm burning that stuff over there but he uh, put some new gas in there and he had it running like within 30 minutes and he told me that 90 percent of the time it's just something simple so and that's that's what it ended up being and I'm thinking it's probably gonna be something simple for this one so I um, I ended up putting this down in there and the gas smelled old so like I said I dumped it out put new gas in there this is well it's seen better days I don't know what it would cost to replace this or replace the spring and the cord but it's not going to be as um, inexpensive as what I have on hand here and what I have on hand is I have a 19 millimeter socket that's what that is right there you're probably saying what's the u-joint for well the u-joint is because this bar is in the way you can't get straight on it so but socket u-joint 9 inch extension this is an adapter 3 8 down to quarter inch and this is a quarter inch drive extension now I know a lot of people what they do is they you know they'll put a bolt in here they'll weld a rod in or they'll put this in here and they'll cut it you know but uh, you know you're, you're cutting up some some good tools that could you know be used for other stuff so let's put this together If you got a half inch drill it, it goes right on that thing. So let's put this on here. Let's put it on the tripod. Put the cap back on. Turn this to on to run, which I've already got it running, but They don't advertise the motors and horsepower anymore. I looked this up. This is around like I guess a six and a half horsepower motor. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you that it was just so easy to get this thing started, even though it'd been sitting up for a while. Uh, this is my gas can. I'm forever losing those little tops right there, and this is just a um, a half inch PVC cap. They're real cheap. If it doesn't fit, you can put some tape around it but hey guys I forgot to add uh, this looks a little dangerous right here while it's running I mean you could get an extension cord or your hair or who knows what caught up in that thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of here drill a hole here and I'm just gonna use my cordless drill to start it I'm not gonna worry about you know, trying to rebuild that okay I just use a torch bit on my drill right there loosen that up and that comes right off I'm going to get a hole saw and see about just drilling that out right there. Okay, this is, um, I guess, an inch and a quarter. Well, that's uh, electrical trade size, probably like an inch and a half. It could be an inch and three quarters, I don't know. But I think the hole is going to be big enough, so we're just going to drill this out.
there we go. Okay guys, I feel a lot better about that. I did have to angle the thing up and make the hole that way because it, it, the hole wasn't big enough for the thing to get in at that angle. But uh, that, that makes me a lot, feels a lot better, especially if you have little ones around or puppy dogs or whatever. So, And if I ever did want to repair this, I, well, I've kind of blown that option. But uh, I, I don't see you know me using anything other than that cordless drill right there for right now. Okay, homestead proper out.